Hello everyone. I am Mamta Sharma from Lotus Petal Foundation and I am here to describe you the happenings in the earliest cities of Indus Valley Civilization. Let's start with the story of Harappa. Archaeologists found Harappa in 1920 after the excavations in Sindh and Punjab. This part is now in Pakistan. This was the first city to be discovered. So that is why it is popularly known as the Harappan civilization. All other cities where buildings similar to Harappa were found were described as Harappans. These cities developed about 4,700 years ago. The Harappan city was divided in two parts. The eastern part of the city was larger but lower. So this was popularly known as the lower town. Another was the western part. It was smaller but higher and it was known as citadel. The walls of the big bricks were built around each part. The bricks were so well baked that they have lasted for thousands of years. The bricks were laid in an interlocking system. It was done to make the walls strong. In some cities, special buildings were constructed on the citadels. The Great Baths, which was in Mohanjadaro, is the best example of it. This was lined with bricks, coated with plaster, and made watertight with a layer of natural tar. There was steps leading down from two sides. There were rooms on all the sides. Water was probably brought here from well and drained out after the use. Perhaps people took a dip in this tank on the special occasion. Towns of Harappa were perfectly flat. Houses were either one or two storied with rooms built around a courtyard. Most houses had a separate bathing area and some had wells to supply water. Many cities had covered drains. Each drain has a gentle slope so that the water could flow through it. Drains in the houses were connected to streets and smaller drains ultimately led to the bigger ones. The towns of Harappa were perfectly made and it is supposed that the houses, drains and streets all were built at the same time. The script of Indus Valley Civilization. The Indus or the Harappan script is known as Corps of Symbols. The Indus script remains undeciphered means it is not readable. Scripts were the people who knew how to write and help in preparing the seals on stones and on other materials. Large letters of the Harappan script were carved out of white stone and inlaid in wood. People were expert in the craft. They had made many craft things. You can see the images out there. And most of these objects in the Harappan city were made of stone, shell and metal. Copper and bronze were used to make tools, weapons, ornaments and vessels. The Harappans made pots with beautiful black designs. Actually, a piece of actual cloth was found attached to the lid of a silver vase and a spindle walls made of terracotta was also found here which was used to spin thread and it gave an idea that they know how to weave the cotton. Many terracotta toys have 
also been found in this region. In search of the raw material, raw material are processed to produce finished goods. It is either found naturally or produced by the farmers. The raw material here is available locally, but many items such as copper, tin, gold, silver, and precious stones were brought from distant places. They got copper from Rajasthan and Oman tin, which was mixed with copper to produce bronze, had been brought from Afghanistan and Iran, gold from Karnataka, precious stones from Gujarat, Iran and Afghanistan. The Harappans made seals of stones which were rectangular in shape and have an animal carved on them. You can see the images of seals at the background. Food for people in the city. People living in the countryside grew crops and reared animals. The Harappan grew wheat, barley, pulses, peas, rice, sisin, linseed, and mustard. The plow was used to dig the earth for turning the soil and planting seeds. Water was stored and supplied to the fields. Harappans reared cattle like sheep, goat and buffalo. During the dry months, large herds of animals were taken to great distance in search of grass and water. Harappan towns in Gujarat. Gujarat was quite famous place out there. Dholavira was located on Khadir Bet in the run of Kutch. It was divided into three parts and each part was surrounded with stone walls and entrance in the cities were with the help of gateways. A large open area is found here where public ceremonies were held. Dholavira was a very fertile area. Another one is Lothal. It had a fire altar where sacrifices were performed. Lothal stood beside a tributary of the river Sabamati, which is close to Gulf of Khambat. A beet factory was and a seal of Persian Gulf have been found, which suggests that this area was deeply involved in trade. Precious and semi precious stones were available in the area of Lod. It's a mystery that why this city became abandoned. Different persons, different scholars have their different ideologies. Like some feel that due to change in the climatic condition, the area lost fertility and people were compelled to move elsewhere. Constant use of firewood and brick manufactured caused deforestation and minimized the rainfall. The change of course of the river Indus transformed it into a tract of sand and affected the fertility. Natural calamity like earthquake and cyclone adversely affected the normal life. Some scholars are of the opinion that Harappan civilization suffered a decline due to attacks by the Aryans. Great declines because raw material brought from long distance became rare. Around 3,900 years ago, people stopped living in many cities and Harappa was not an exception. We are not sure the reason that why this happened, but whatever might be the reason, people moved into newer and smaller settlement to the east and the south. Thank you. Listen to it very carefully and produce well.